Thanks so much. People across the country have been finding ways to help stop the coronavirus pandemic from making homemade hand sanitizer to sewing face masks and donating them to hospitals. A Toledo man is turning his love of 3D printing into a way to help. Christy Kopanis has more. Ryan Lewecki has 3D printed some pretty unique objects in his free time, but now these 3D printers are helping stop the spread of coronavirus. He's busy making face shields for the Toledo Hospital. So I contacted Toledo Hospital. They said they were interested. As soon as I got the okay from them, I went ahead and started the GoFundMe to help support it. That GoFundMe didn't take long to grow. His goal of $500 quickly surpassed. And as of Sunday night, he's getting close to $2,000. Support he never thought would happen. I was surprised. I mean, I only shared it to one person. And from there, it just expanded. And to see the support from the community, it's, it's a good thing. Each face shield takes about an hour to print, and he's getting close to 100 frames. These face shields will be used with masks and goggles to protect doctors and nurses as they care for patients. It feels great to help out. I mean, I'm still at work, but a lot of people aren't, and maybe I plan to not be soon. And I have all these here. I mean, what better to do with it than help other people out? If you have a 3D printer and want to make face shields of your own to help your local hospital, the 3D printer file for face shields is an open source pattern. Reporting in Toledo, Christy Copanis, WTOL 11.